Should I zoom in? Epic? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a back to school what's in my backpack video. I've probably been wanting to do that since I was in high school, maybe even middle school. And it's kind of funny that the time that I'm actually doing it is when I just graduated college. So I, I'm not even in school anymore, but <laughs> here I am doing this. I mean, better late than never, but I just wanted to make this video to show you what I would have put and maybe to give ideas for anybody who's packing their bag this year. I'm, I'm gonna try to make this video more concise because my videos some these days have been going way longer than I've wanted them to so let's try okay so to start it off I have two bags actually I would carry this tote bag with me this exact same tote bag and my backpack and the reason is because if I put my back my um contents from this bag in here it would just be way too heavy and it will hurt my back and I have a lot of back pains even without having like extra weight on my bag so i try to minimize that by having this at least to show you the little one first this is really quick this is just my tote bag it's really plain there's nothing on it it was actually um from my friend andrew when he used to sell bags <laughs> he used to embroider them but um he had some and he gave he gave my family's in tote bags, so I took one and I, I use it. So thank you, Andrew. But what's in the bag is usually whatever notebooks I had for the day. So because I was a college student, um, I didn't have lockers like I did in high school. And I also didn't have the same class every day. So what I would do is I would just put whatever notebook was relevant for the day into this bag. I just like grabbed some notebooks because I still keep my notes. And I just grabbed random ones. But I have here two spiral notebooks. I decorated this one with a picture of Tomie. I love Jinji Ito stories. So of course I'm gonna have a sticker of Tomie. And then I just have this random dragonfly sticker. And then I have a Tommy Wiseau sticker. And then I also have this sticker right here. I don't know if it'll be able to show. Can you focus? Yeah, focus. It's this little critter. It's like a quick collage of stickers you like, you know? Having decorations like this make me feel good. Puts me in a better mood and better moods make me do better in school, so why not? <laughs> Here's just another random notebook. I don't even know what this one was for. Oh, this was physics. I have the other one. Um, this one I think was from my data analysis class. Um, data, yeah, data analysis and facilities planning. And then I also have my planner. So as you can see, like I still have stuff in my planner because I'm still using it. I always just like put circles next to the things that I need to do and I usually put like the title of the class next to them as well and the due dates and I like highlight the due dates too but I love having planner having that checklist just makes me feel much more organized and gets me started in the direction I need to go in so there's that I also used to put my lunch in these bags too so if I ever needed to have like a sandwich with me, I would just stick it in there with my notebooks as well. Next thing that I want to show you is what's inside my backpack. So to start, this backpack um, is actually from TJ Maxx. I don't know if anyone who ever watches my videos, but I've mentioned a lot in my videos that a lot of the stuff I get are from TJ Maxx. Um, I just really like that store. I used to work there too, so I would get a discount. I still shop there a lot. I just like getting discounted prices. <laughs> I don't know, it's still like good quality stuff. But this is a Michael Kors backpack, I believe. I just really liked this backpack when I saw it. And um, I just wanted to splurge and it's actually really sturdy. I've had this and used this one for I think three years and it's still honestly in I think the same condition as when I got it. To go on to what's in my bag, first things first is my water bottle. I need to have my water bottle to stay hydrated, you know, it's always important to drink water at school. So just to add, I was a commuter student, so I would stay on campus all day and there were some semesters and quarters where I had class from the morning until evening because a lot of the engineering classes were in the evening for some reason. I think it's because they had day jobs, so that's probably why, but um, yeah, I needed to stay on campus all day and I need water. So this is the water bottle that I used. It's the Takeo 24 ounces water bottle. 
I love it so much. I just got it in black because you can never go wrong with classic color. And I decorated it with stickers from Redbubble. I love the stickers on this bottle, honestly. I just decorated it with my favorite stuff. So again, here's Tomie again, so beautiful. And then this is a picture of a scene from a movie I really like called Perfect Blue. And here's a picture from a scene of Harold and Kumar. I also really love the first Harold and Kumar movie so much. Here is another picture of Tommy Wiseau. So it's the same sticker as the one in my other notebook, but I think this one's better quality than the other one, so I put this one here. So this is a water bottle that I used, and I used to fill it with ice, and there would still be ice all day long. Like, that's why I love these kinds of thermos water bottles. But yeah, this is the one I got, and it fits perfectly in the side pocket of my my backpack okay maybe not perfectly because it doesn't slide in there easily but it fits well enough to like just stay on the side oh just to show you i have a little keychain of sean the sheets i got it in japan and i really love this keychain it's just very cute but i also have something in here <laughs> this one this is a wireless portable mouse something you need um, especially if you're using your laptop for exams, it's you don't want to be using the, the mouse pad. You want to use it. an actual mouse. It it will save you so much time. So in the front pocket, you open the front. One thing you find in there, um, I didn't have this before, but if I was going to school, um, this is one of the pieces that I definitely would put in my bag. It's a blue light glasses. So I just got these on Amazon. They're kind of dirty right now, but <laughs> they're very lightweight and they honestly save me from a lot of headaches. Literally, I get so much headaches from looking at the screen for too long. So let me close that. And then I also have my wallet. So, no, just this. So another thing that I have in this pocket right here is this little pouch. Um, it's just a pouch full of things that I reach for often. I put it in the front part of my backpack because it's just for easy reach and I just have this clear pouch right here that holds everything it holds my tea there would be a little store convenience store in one of the areas where there's like a cafeteria in my campus and they used to have hot water so it was easy for me to just stop by there after class to put some hot water and make myself some tea they even had like cups available because they would sell coffee so I would just do that and that's just another tip for anybody else who has to stay on campus and is really tired but also doesn't want to spend money on buying coffee. Just bring some tea. Keep yourself caffeinated on a budget. Another thing that I would have um, is this. I put some lactase and wait, la la. <laughs> I, I put some lactase pills in this pouch as well because I am lactose intolerant and I need these. Another thing that I would have is my ID card. I'm not going to show it, but I mean, I can show my picture. I don't know. I'll just leave it out. <laughs> but there's that. Another thing that I would have are earplugs. Um, I would work in the library, and usually it's fine. I tend to work best when there's like background noises, but sometimes like if I just want to be quiet, I have earplugs. You know, I don't want to be disturbed, so at least I can use that. I also would have this. This one's a little embarrassing to bring up, but I wanted to put it on here anyways because honestly, I think it's like a pretty good tip in a way. Um, I just have this little spray bottle that's from Daiso, and it's filled with like this, I don't know, essential oil mix or something. I don't know what it was. My mom made it for me, but it, essentially it's like a restroom deodorizer. Everyone poops. You ever feel like you got a stinky one? Carry one of these in your backpack and you'll never have to be embarrassed again. You can poop with ease. So that's that. And another thing that I have <laughs> in here, which I feel like a lot of people should carry if they have long hair, is a rubber band. This is especially, especially, especially important if you are a student that is going to be in a lab or like a lab of any sorts, pretty much. You need it in like chem labs, probably bio labs. I never took bio in college, but you also need it in like manufacturing labs. So it's always important to have your hair out of the way. That way you can go about everything safely. 
So another thing that I have in the front pouch is this lotion. It's the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream. Um, this is different than what I would usually carry in my backpack, but I just put this in here because it's what I had on hand. Usually I use the Eucerin hand lotion. That one works the best for me with my eczema. Um, I just get pretty bad bad eczema on my hands in here, especially in the winter time. So I'm always putting on hand cream during class or after using the restroom and washing my hands. It's just super important for me. I would get like cuts and my hand would like burn all the time and it would like scab and get really hard. So I have to do what I gotta do. So if you have eczema, always carry lotion, of course. Do save yourself the trouble and put lotion on no matter how often you need to do it, even if you're putting it on in the middle class. Just sometimes I'd feel subconscious and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm always putting lotion. But like, it's not even a big deal. I'm the one who has to deal with the pain. So that's the end of the front pocket. Now let's move on to the big pocket. So inside the big pocket right here, one of the most important ones is my laptop. So this one is the one, what is it? What brand is it? So this one, <laughs> I forgot what brand it was. So this laptop is the Lenovo yoga laptop it's pretty good um it flips back actually all the way like that and there's also a stylus right here but the only thing is that um with the case it's really hard to flip it back it just doesn't let it happen so i never really used it like that though it is touch screen so sometimes i would use a stylus just like from the front or i would just tap it with my finger but it's just really nice laptop that i have I just got this black case that I put on it as for protection. Um, I got it off Amazon and it has a sticker right here in the front of a scene from the movie Old Boy. So, yeah. Anyways, another thing that I have with the laptop comes the charger. I don't want my laptop dying. As I said, sometimes I'll be on campus from the morning to the night. And it's just, you don't want it to die on you, of course. So, what have that? One thing, one sec. <laughs> I forgot something and I didn't put it in my backpack. So, um, yeah, actually, because I'm done with college, I just put everything out of my backpack and put it in its respective spot. But because of this video, I put it all back in here again. So, I hope you can appreciate my work. <laughs> Anyways, so another thing that's inside the main pocket would be this. This is a battery pack for my phone. This is just to charge it, you know, USB charger to charge the pack. And then I use this one with this denim cord to charge my iPhone. And it has this really nice thing here where I can wrap the cord. So it keeps things organized. So I really like that. Another thing that I would have is hand sanitizer. Even before COVID, I was carrying my hand sanitizer because this was free from campus. I really love that it's skinny. It's just so convenient. It just fits in every bag easily without being bulky. Another thing that I would carry is whatever lipstick I was using for the day. Um, I just put this one in there because this was my go-to lipstick throughout college. It's honestly one of my favorites. It's the NYX lingerie lipstick that's liquid. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. NYX lingerie lipstick and it's a liquid matte lipstick in the color exotic. I love this so much. Anybody who has similar lip color to me, I recommend this. It just makes your lips look a little redder, but in a good way. Another thing that's in here is, of course, my AirPods. Always need my iPods because, you know, sometimes you just want to be listening to something around campus. So I would have that. Another thing that I would have is, of course, my car keys. My car keys are just a tile keychain. These days it has one of these because, you know, to open doors and stuff. And then this one, this little keychain my boyfriend gave me before. Thank you, Justin, for my beautiful keychain. <laughs> Some other stuff that's in here is my calculator. It's my graphing calculator, and I named her Graphy. That's her name. I had another calculator that was a scientific calculator, and I named her Callie. This one's Graphy. And it says my name and my sister's name on these tapes um it's really faded so i don't know if you can see it but 
because during the AP and the IB exam, you had to put your name on these tapes and you had to submit your calculator before the exam so they can clear of like clear your calculator of anything that way you can cheat so it's just there and I never took it off and then I also have these little stickers right here they are like little little critters that my friend gave me so thanks Evelyn if you ever see this those are the stickers you gave me and on all my calculators and actually almost all my tech devices. I put these little stickers. It just became a habit of mine ever since middle school. It's like these 3D square stickers that have little like really cute pastries on it. And I just put it there to like claim it as mine and know it's mine. Another thing in my bag is of course my garage remote. I just have it hanging on one of the pockets that way I can easily reach into my bag and open the garage when I get home or close the garage when I'm leaving for school. And then the next thing in my bag is my pencil case. So this is a Mario Badescu pouch that my sister actually got for Christmas with some other Mario Badescu projects. I asked her if I could have it when I saw it and she just let me have it. She was really nice about it. So thank you, Cozy. And um, fun little story, it like says Mario Badescu really lightly here, which I really like. I like the font and everything and the color. And just the shape of this pouch. And my friend thought it said Mario Biscuits or Mario Bakery. And I was like, no, it's Mario Badescu. <laughs> um, so after when you open this pouch, these are the stuff I would keep in. So it is missing one thing, which is whiteout. I usually get my whiteout from Daiso. They used to have these really tiny ones. I loved it because it was just so small and it easily fit in my pouch. It wasn't bulky at all. But I don't have any whiteout with me anymore. It just it ran out so I threw it away but one thing that was in my pouch is this little aloe vera like eye serum I would keep it and use it once in a while I really like it because it had these little balls at the end <laughs> balls and they're like metal balls and um put it there under your eyes or something and it would really help during midterm and exam seasons because sometimes my eyes would just be so tired and I just putting that thing there to make your eye area feel colder definitely helps so much another thing that i have is of course always lip balm i am a dry person even though i sweat a lot i'm very dry and i just need like lip balm all the time so i have my lip balm that's a given something else that's in this pouch are these little spirited away sticky notes and it has the bird spirit looking ones and as a radish spirit and no face whenever i was taking notes i would just stick them on there whenever i needed to remember something for like an exam or like anything important or like an important principle or formula or something i just stick it there and i would write the little note of why it's important and i would um look back on all the stickers whenever studying for my exams like if i ever had any crunch time that i needed to quickly look at something important before the exam starts then i would just see those automatically another thing that I would have is of course my pens so I have four pens in my pouch and they're of the same brand these are all from the brand Energel no they're from Pentel and they're the Energel liquid gel ink pens I love these so much because they don't smudge and they're like the perfect opaqueness I don't like ballpoint pens because they're not opaque enough and other gel pens sometimes they just smear when you write on it and I don't like that. The reason I have four is because I color code my notes. Red is for vocabulary or anything that's super urgent or important. The black is for standard writing, green is for equations, reds were for theories and principles. So those were there. I also have a highlighter. I would also highlight to emphasize things that were important, so we need that. And I would have this. This is just a little container that holds lead for my lead pencil. It's really convenient. Another thing that I have is a ruler. You know, it's always nice to have a straight edge or a ruler when you need it. So I have one in here. Two last things in my pencil pouch was a pencil, it's a mechanical pencil, and an eraser. Again, I like pencils and stuff that are skinny and long from pencil pouch because I just do not like it taking up space so I prefer this way much more than the little chunky ones um, saves up space this is a pencil it's pretty cool it shakes 
Shake, shake. Oh, shake, 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 shake. Look at that. The lead came out because I was shaking it. A funny story again. This was actually from like an ex from a long time ago. Um, he gave me this pencil and like I got rid of the stuff from him but like I just couldn't get myself to get rid of this because it's such a cool pencil. You know, why would I get rid of it? It's, it's cool. It's not the pencil's fault. So on to the rest of what's in my bag. Another tip that I have, um, especially for anybody who carries like pepper spray or any like, alarms in their backpacks for safety reasons. Um, if you're a commuter student like me, Maybe you have found yourself like walking to the parking lot at night and it's like really dark and empty. It can be kind of scary sometimes. Luckily, you know, I would walk with my friends. So hopefully you can have friends or classmates that you can walk with and feel safe with. But um, there will be times when I'd be by myself. So of course I'm a pepper spray. And one thing that I like is that, you know, I don't like to look for it. I know where it is and I put it on this little thing right here and I have one of these things that you pull. So my plan was if anything happened, I just reach for it and then, you know? It's just easy that way. In a moment of danger, you just want it to be like easy to grab it. Okay, so we're in the last bit. What I have is a pouch. You never know when your period is gonna start or if you forgot a period pad at home. Like, you know, what if you need one or what if a friend needs one? That's what this is for. I always carry them. You never know when you need it. Another thing that I carry is a little mirror. This is for my friend Megan. So thanks, Megan. <laughs> Another thing in here that I have, my house keys has a little keychain that I like. And I also have this in here. I have this little charm that I got from Japan and it's supposed to give you good grades. I don't know, um, it's supposed to like help during exams, I think. I. I just caught it and put it in my backpack just in case because you never know when you will be needing it, I guess. So I have it with me for comfort's sake. It's pretty cool. It's a little charm I got at the temple. I like it. Three last things right here. So one thing is a snack. I usually carry any small snack like crackers or in this case mochi because I get really bad headaches and which can turn into migraines when I'm hungry. So I need to have a snack just in case um, that happens where I can't reach food right away. And then I also have this. This is an essential oil for focusing. Uh, it actually doesn't say that it's for focusing. That's weird. I think it did in the box. But I just had this and I would put it on when studying or before taking an exam. Yeah, I don't know if I believe in essential oils, but like I don't really see the harm in it. <laughs> and just putting it on, it kind of puts me at ease whether it actually does anything or not. It allows me to like focus during an exam or make me feel more in the zone, so I just do it. And then the last thing I have are these Apple ear earbuds. Yeah, they're earbuds, not AirPods. Oh, the olden days. I have these because my laptop may sometimes need me to put my earbuds in, especially when I'm in the library and I don't want everybody to hear what I'm listening to. So I would just have this. So that's pretty much all I have in my backpack. My lovely, lovely backpack. This is fun. I'm finally doing the What's in My Backpack video and I'm really glad because like I said, I've always wanted to do this. Thank you for watching my video. I hope I was concise enough. Um, if not, and if you stayed to the end, thank you because I really appreciate that. Um, sometimes I worry that nobody watches my videos and a part of me also doesn't worry because I'm doing it because I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel. But um... Yeah, it's a lot of fun, but it it's really nice to know if other people are watching. So, um, yeah, if you're watching, thank you so much. Uh, if you want to say hi to me in the comments, that'd be cool. I appreciate every comment that I get, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you all have a great day and um, a great semester or school year. You've got this. It's school. You know, get in the zone. Um, whether that be on Zoom or in class in person, I am cheering for you like from wherever I you are <laughs> to wherever you are. <laughs> We're all like trying our best so you know, you can do this. I have had classes like in the past that I did not do well and like I was nervous going into it to take it like again. Like for example, I pretty much like 
did not do well at all in chemistry in high school but I retook it in college and I had to retake physics in college too um, and I did much better the second time because I worked really hard at it and I believe in you okay you can do it like do your best don't be afraid to ask questions do it for you and just try your best one thing that I would have put in my bag too if um, I remembered I forgot honestly is a mask just put a mask in your in your bag so you can stay safe maybe carry a backup one in your bag but um yeah that's one thing that i would have changed so thank you again and i'll see you next time hopefully thanks